Hello, people of Earth. It is a gloriously sunny day. Um, I've been out, um, I went out with my mom uh, for lunch, and now I'm taking a lovely walk, and I thought I would do a video in honor of this weekend being Earth Day. I know it's, it was yesterday, but I consider every day Earth Day, so I thought I would do a video on 10 things you can do or start today that can help save the planet and just make our lives on this planet a little more peaceful and healthy and just overall better for everyone on the planet. Um, some of these you may have heard of, some you may not have, um, and yeah, it's pretty exciting. If you uh, like this video, be sure to give it a like and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or check out my shop, Security Magics on Etsy, also down in the description below. All right, so let's get on to the 10 things. All right, so the first one is buy in bulk or use um, reusable bags, things like that. So um, around here, we don't have as much of it, but in a lot of places, you can go to stores and bring your own jars and your own bags, and you can um, fill up as much as you want of a certain product, and then you're not using um, you know, plastic containers from the store and just throwing them out. You can use renewable items or you know, using um, bags or just being aware of um, not using as many disposable products from the stores. Number two is um, walk or ride your bike or use public transportation. I think oftentimes we get caught up in our schedule and we don't realize that even just taking an extra 15 minutes to walk into town um, instead of using the car is a much better way of conserving energy. Um, and it's a great way to connect to the earth and have some meditation for yourself and connect with people. It's amazing the people you can connect with when you're walking around instead of in your car, just kind of in your own little bubble. So I think that's a really cool way of saving energy, but also connecting with your surroundings around you. So number three is use more earth healthy products. So what a lot of people don't know is that their shampoos, their conditioners, uh, their body products, um, dish soap, they actually have a lot of really harmful chemicals and that goes directly into the water and that can hurt the environment but also if it's in the water it has to be taken out with really crappy chemicals to clean the water and so overall like it's just not a good thing for our health and it's not a good thing for the environment so be aware what you're using on your body and you know putting down the drain um, you can look up very easily to find organic products or um, biodegradable products and they work just as well as the normal ones and sometimes they smell better and they feel better and our skin is the biggest organ in our body and it absorbs everything so imagine if those harmful chemicals are going down the drain they're also being soaked into your body so that's also a thing to recognize you know when with your kids or yourself or even your pets like be aware of what you're putting on your body um, some people say you know like if you're not gonna eat it don't put it on your skin and I think that's a really interesting thing so um, I try to be pretty conscious about the stuff I put on my body but again what anything you're that's not soaking into your body is going into the drain and going into the water and um and the animals are affected in that so be aware of having more earth conscious products so number four is buying products built out of sustainable products so for instance um bamboo is an extremely sustainable um building tool so it's much better to buy a table or floor your house with bamboo instead of maybe wood um, same with utensils or just things that, you know, maybe are recycled or um, are more sustainable. Don't forget that once you throw that out, if it can go back into the earth, it's not going to clog up a landfill. And it's really important to be aware of that. Also, like with bamboo, it grows back so fast that it's, it's a renewable source. And, you know, it takes forever for trees to grow, but bamboo grows. Like, I think it's like a third of it grows back in like a year or something. Like, it's really fast. So... Um, be aware of what your products are made out of and try to go for more sustainable products and things that will grow back quicker. So another really cool thing, and this kind of goes back to the first thing, is make your own products. Um, this is kind of a couple things, you know, more earth healthy um, products, but also not 
you know, using all those um, plastic containers and stuff, if you make some of your own products, you can really save on money, um, know what you're putting in your body, and you're not wasting all those other things. So you can make toothpaste, shampoo, soap, all kinds of stuff and it's actually a lot of fun because you get to really put in it what you want on a side note uh, like it's a really great way to make a little extra money too and it's a really great way to be very conscious about what you're putting on your body but also what you're putting back into the earth and all around it's just a really great way to help the environment and also your own personal health and it's kind of fun too it's really fun to go on and find recipes and make things go, wow you know, i did this and it works really well and it's, it's a lot of fun and you can share it with people and it just overall it's really a great thing to do. So um, there's definitely a lot of really cool recipes out there. Um, same with like uh, teeth whitening and all kinds of stuff. I actually have a really great teeth whitening um, recipe which I'd like to put on here. It's, it's really easy and it works really well. So um, that's a really cool way also to cut back on the products like the product containers but then again also knowing exactly what you're putting on your body and in your body and then also when it goes down the drain it's not gonna hurt the uh, planet so this one might seem really obvious but number six is be aware of what you're using and don't use what you don't need one of our biggest wastes that we have in in the country that one of the things we're most wasteful about is food um, we throw out a ton of food because we either buy too much and it goes bad or we just don't want it or we don't eat it so um, and the same thing with electricity and water like we tend to use these commodities and don't think about you know that electricity is helping you know get the water there or you know having the lights and that you know that's something that has to be made and it's you know it's like a whole thing it takes up a lot of energy and if we don't need it or if we're not in a room and we don't need that light on you know just turn it off or unplug that appliance um, it seems obvious but it's amazing how often we just don't think about it and it's good to remember um, to just be more aware of that kind of stuff and just use what you need so number seven is one of my favorites it's the put your money where your mouth is philosophy which is your dollar is one of the most powerful tools you can use to help change the planet help there be greener ways of being um, all over the planet because companies really most often are looking at the bottom line and if more and more people are wanting those sustainable green products it will it will shift because they want the money and if their companies are no longer being funded and you know their products are no longer being bought because we're aware of you know their stance on things they will shift so it's important to know where you're putting your money you know like look up the companies that you are you know buy from regularly and see what their their stance is on you know sustainability email them ask them the more people that ask them the more they're going to realize that that's what people want so you know research those things and maybe stop buying from the companies that are less conscious and start looking for companies that are more conscious you know if we put our money towards what we want those companies will grow and if the, we're taking that money from the companies we don't want those that we don't want those companies are going to shrink so they're either going to have to change or they're going to disappear so remember that where you put your money is a huge factor in where the planet is directed so be aware of that do your research and yeah put your money where your mouth is all right so number eight i think is one of the best ways you can help save the planet and that's by going vegan or vegetarian depending on what you want to do i think vegan's great for health and that's a whole other video but when it comes to the meat and dairy industry um, it is responsible for 51 percent of greenhouse gas emissions and a lot of people don't put that out there because it's kind of kept hush hush it's also one of the biggest um, reasons for deforestation and uh, the rainforest so that they can put in more fields to feed those animals and it's not really sustainable um, industry anyway but the thing is is that those animals um, they give off methane and and all the water it takes to just have water for one cow and all the food it's it's an extremely unsustainable industry and if everyone or even half the people went vegan or even vegetarian we could shift so much of climate change on this planet it's unreal um, if you want to see more about that i can link down below um, to an amazing documentary called cowspiracy and it has like all the you know the facts and um 
all the details on that, but that's a really huge thing. So even if everyone cut their in meat intake by half, um, we could really see a huge shift on the planet. So be aware of every time you eat cheese, every time you eat meat, um, that is contributing to climate change. So be aware of that and it's a simple thing. And the way I see it is, yeah, you might be missing out on your meat, but if we don't have a planet, we're gonna be missing out on a lot of other things. So be aware of um, what you're eating and the things you're taking in and how it's truly affecting the planet. So number nine and number 10 kind of go hand in hand, but number nine is share information. So if you're aware of things, be sure to share it with people and put out that education. It's really important for people to know. A lot of people don't know the facts and it's really important for them to really see what's going on. But I really feel it's important to couple this with um, thing number 10. And that's not to be doom and gloom. Um, there's been some research that has been done that says when someone thinks something is too big of an issue or just so overwhelming that they don't feel like they can change it, oftentimes they get cognitive dissonance and they just don't want to pay attention to it. And they just think oh, someone else will do it. You know, I'll focus on something else. This doesn't feel good. And so that's why a lot of people aren't doing what they, you know, is really important for the planet. So it's really important to come at it from a more positive aspect, you know, why it's better, why, you know, how it affects your health and like how you're going to feel so much better and you're going to save money and, you know, how the water is going to be cleaner and how, you know, just the positive aspect of it. Be a, you know, have a smile on your face, you know, stay positive because, you know, you don't want to be that vegan or that environmentalist, you know, you just a bummer and people don't want to listen to that and people are much more likely to listen to someone who's positive and happy and and enjoying their life they're gonna go oh i want to do what they're doing and you go oh i'm vegan oh I, you know <laughs> i use reusable bags or <laughs> whatever and you know show how much joy it brings to your life show how much it's really impacted your life for the better and people will want to do that people go after what makes them feel good so it's important to do that and also remember we're the face of this movement if vegans, you know, vegans and environmentalists tend to be known as kind of downers, it's like, oh God, you know, but if we become known as the happy people, <laughs> the people who have amazing lives, the people who are vibrant and healthy and, you know, supportive and kind, many, many more people are going to want to know what we're doing. Many more people are going to be interested in what we're saying because they're going to be like, whoa, I want what they have because clearly they've got something going on, which is awesome. So be aware how you share the information. It's important to be uplifting and, you know, not only show, you know, the information, say, hey, you know, maybe we should change these things, but, you know, show what's changing. Show the, the things that are, are getting better and, you know, the good things that are happening as well. So people can be like, wow, you know, change is happening. If I do something, maybe it will help. You know, it's not just a random drop in the bucket that's gonna do nothing. You know, they can actually see that if they take these steps, it will actually make a difference. So those are my 10 ways that, 10 things and ways you can help start saving the planet today. Um, and it's baby steps, you know, like just every day, you know, add a little something into your life or remove something from your life and just be aware. It's about consciousness. It's about being aware of how you affect your space. And I think it's really important to love yourself enough to feed your body well, put good things on your skin, and, and you know, just be aware that we're all one. And you know, what we do to ourselves or to something else ultimately affects everything, us and everyone around us. So, um, so that being said, um, I think that's it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hope you had a wonderful weekend and did fun things for Earth Day. And don't forget, every day is Earth Day, because you know, we're on planet Earth. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and leave a comment down below if there are other ways that you can think of that are going to help um, just little habits that you find are really good that you feel are helping to shift the energy on the planet and make a change um, so that we have a healthier planet and a healthier um, living space. So um, hope you all have a wonderful day. Many blessings. Namaste, and don't forget, it's all about the soul journey.